Come on in, man. I just whacked my toe on the banister. Oh, my gosh. I just whacked the crap out of myself. You what? I hit my toe on the banister. Oh, I gotta go get a band-aid. Now I'm bleeding, and I'm gonna get shot if I bleed on the rug. Oh, no. Hold on. Hang out at the bar for a second. I'll be right back down, all right? Okay. Cool. Yeah. I really appreciate you coming out here, man. Okay, cool. I was having, like, such a crappy night. I'm sorry, like, you got all weirded out when you saw me the first time. Well, it wasn't I got weirded out. I thought I couldn't see a address. I mean, I've seen it on the mailbox. Yeah, it's totally, like, weirded out, isn't it? Anyway, sorry. I found a band I'll be right back. I just have to wipe it off, or else I'm gonna get an infection. I got. Have you ever got like one of those ingrown toenails? Yeah. I got one once, and it hurt so freaking bad. How are you, sir? Okay. Why don't you do me a favor and uh, have a seat on the uh, stool right on the other side of the bar there? Please go ahead and seat. Get yourself all comfortable. Or... Sure. What's going on? Not much. Why are you here? Came to meet this gentleman. This gentleman? Mm-hmm. And how old is the gentleman you came here to meet? Uh, he told me that he was 15, I believe. 15? <coughs> Do you want to try again? Uh, that's what I remember. How about 14? Uh, how old are you? 43. 43. And you came here to meet a teenage boy, why? Uh, I told him I was coming to meet and talk. Just to meet and talk? Mm-hmm. And what was your plan once you got here? Meet and talk. Just that? Yeah. And you thought that was appropriate for you as a grown man, 43 years old, to come here to meet a teenage boy who was home alone? Um, I had my reservations. Your reservations? But he asked me to. So that made it okay? I didn't see any harm in just chatting with him, no. Just chatting? Mm-hmm. Now, do you have nieces and nephews? Oh, yeah. All the way up to 22 or 23. Actually, I think Dustin may be 24. Yeah. Now, would you be comfortable if a grown man came into a home where one of your nephews was alone? Would that be okay with you? Well, I guess it would depend on what their intentions were. See, now you're telling me your intentions were one thing. But based upon the Internet conversation you had with the boy. Your intentions seem like something very different. Um, I think the last conversation that I had with Rocky was that I was coming to meet and chat. He led some other, or was, I don't want to say he led, but he kind of gave that it may be more, and I said no. You know, I says, well, I'm coming to talk and check, to meet you and chat. Do you do this often? Um, as far as with younger kids? Yeah. Um, I would say that, of course, I thought he was 15, but I would say that... Well, 15, 14, I mean, what's right. the difference? Well, right I agree. Here? He says right here, hello, hi. 14 male, 14 years old, yeah. Oh my, what are you doing in here? How are you? I like talking to other gay people, doing well, thanks. So he says it's 14 right there. That may have been later in the week or something like that, I don't know. The, thir the 19th of March, 11.35 p.m. I mean, that's the chat log, so 14. Well, he knew I was very concerned about chatting with him and even meeting up with him. But despite your concern, you showed up anyway. 
Well, I think because of the way that he was telling me that his parents were gone to Vegas and he was alone and stuff like that. Um, so you were just coming over here to babysit him, to keep an eye on no, him? No, I didn't think that he needed a babysitter, <laughs> you know. What I did mean, you think he did need? I didn't think that he needed anything, really. I mean, he even asked me to buy him beer, and I says, no way. You say, I just love playing and blanking a man's blank. Well, those were the conversations that he was having with me also. These are your words? Oh, I'm, yeah, we had some, some of that chat, but if you go back and look at our last conversation today, or tonight, there was some conversation about beer, and I says, no, I won't do that. Here you say, I have to ask this, are you a cop? Why did you ask if he was a cop? Because of the age. I mean, I haven't done, I haven't done a thing with him. And, I mean, look at what I'm doing. I'm sitting here talking with you over it, you know? So, I mean, <laughs> that was my largest fear. I mean, to be honest with you, I don't hook up online. I meet people, but I don't hook up online. It sounds like you were trying to hook up tonight. No. Have no. you ever asked somebody to blank you off? You talk about... Oh, I won't deny that there was... You sexual. talk about penis size here. Yours and his. I don't recall him ever telling me his, but... I can read it to you. Well, I don't, you know, I mean... You chat with a lot of people in those chat rooms. You ask about his homosexuality. You say, well, you're a good-looking guy, but then you say... Please delete that picture of me. Why did you want him to delete the picture of you that you had sent him? I deleted his. I mean, I don't keep pictures on my internet. You say you better not be getting me into trouble. That's not well, good. <laughs> it's not, because... You know, I mean, look what's happened here. Even though I haven't done anything with the guy, look, I mean, look what's happened. So you have that dark hair. Do you have any body hair? Yeah. I mean, those are normal chat things on... It's normal chat things with a 14-year-old well, boy? You're underage, and then what if you got pissed at me sometime? I would go to jail. You say you're very cool and very safe. Did you bring condoms with you tonight? No. I didn't even bring my wallet. I walked out and left my wallet on the dresser. How was the ride over today? How was my ride over? Over here. Oh, it's fine. How far did you travel tonight? Um, I live in Kettering. Kettering. And how far is that from where we're at here? Um, I want to say 30 miles, 33 miles, something like that. Uh, I really don't know. I think it was, um, according, according to what, um, the directions he gave me was 45 minutes. I'm sorry, 45 miles. 45 miles. Yeah. So you drove 45 miles just to, what, chat with this kid? Absolutely. I, he, the guy, you know, he told me that his parents were in Vegas, you know, and I mean, I, I even t said in the email, hey, I'm coming to meet and to chat with you. You also say in your chat, so you have a nice blank slang word for penis. What's that now? So you have a nice cock is what you say to him. I guess I did. I think he asked about mine, too. And you go into great detail about that. Do you see why it's hard for me to believe that you were just here to chat? Based upon well, this I know 
I know myself, I'm 43 years old, and I know myself what I would have done. Period. You ask him if he's horny, and then say, I wish you were not so far away. I, what conclusion can I draw from this? Well, I, I totally understand. What do you do for a living? I manage an audit department for a major oil company for 25 years. It's a big job. Absolutely. I'm fucking scared to death. How do you defend this behavior? Well, I should have never came here. No matter what, you know, you always hear stories online about situations like this and no matter how you feel about I mean it doesn't matter what they're saying to you you know you just have to say that the hell with it do you have a uh, an addiction to the internet a, um, a compulsion no no I wouldn't say that I mean I'm on, I w I live on the computer at work so you know but I mean and I chat all the time with my mom you know, she's got cancer and is in South Bend, and that's, we communicate all the time, you know, through the internet. And, um, you know, and I, and I have friends that I talk with online, but I mean, I, this was the first time I've ever chatted with someone at this age, you know? I mean, aren't there enough 21-year-olds and over to chat with? Well, actually... I mean, most guys that talk to me are in that age, I mean, 25, 26 years old. Well, nobody cares you know? about that. Well, That's I know. Those are adults. But, well, you're right. You're right. I mean, what people get upset about, what the law has an issue with, is 14, 13, 12-year-old kid. Oh, well, I know. And, and that was... I mean, what goes on between adults is nobody's business but the adults. Absolutely. But when it gets down to this, can you see why somebody would have an issue? Oh, yeah. But I can tell you right now, I mean, nothing sexually would ever happen with me and this kid. That's just, I know how I am. I know, but based upon I, the chat, I know. it sounds like you were getting no. ready to have a big old night of sex with this kid. No. <laughs> I don't even have sex with men my age the first time I meet them. Period. Well, if you had to sum it up, how did you end up here tonight? Because he asked me to come. I know, but because a 14-year-old asks you to do something doesn't mean you do it. Well, I, you know, and, and you're right in the sense that there's, there are, I mean, it's a dangerous thing. I mean, in his shoes. I know what I'm like. You know, and I know that, uh, you know, I, I'm good at conversation. I'm good company. Not, I'm not talking sex or anything like that. You, know? you were talking sex in the oh, yeah, we both were, Yeah, we both were. I know, but there's a difference. You're 43 years old and he's right. You're 14. right. You're right. So, I, I understand. Do you know that it's illegal? To solicit somebody this age over the internet for sex? Uh, I didn't think that I was. I mean, we didn't agree to sex. We did not agree, agree to sex at all. A sexually charged conversation, certainly. I mean, you know what you said. I read you the quotes. What do you think should happen to you tonight? Well, right now I'm scared to death. I, I just want to go home. Well, there's a couple things that you have to know. One is that I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. And we're doing a story about adults hooking up 
with teenagers on the internet. If you have anything else you'd like to say, we'd like to hear it. If not, you're obviously free to go. So this is going to be on TV? We don't know. We're working on a story. No decisions have been made as to what is or is not going to be in it. We're just in the early stages of this story. I... That's just as bad as getting arrested, you know? I mean, I'm just being straight up with you. I, I, I don't know, and there's no way I can say at this point. Well, I want to go. You're absolutely. Free to go. Uh, and I've been taught a lesson, big time. You know, this is not the first time we've done a story like this. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Don't forget your jacket. Mm -hmm.